the barber cut game in the arcade. It seems so simple. All you have to do is move the blade and cut the string and you win the prize. But is it really this easy? The prizes in this game can range from anything such as plush, all the way up to bigger prizes like an iPad or even a games console. Of course, this helps suggest that the game is in fact rigged, so let's take a look how exactly does this work. Within the machine settings, an operator can adjust how much money they want to get back per prize given out. For example, if this is a plush, it could be 1 in 20 plays, or it could be even up to 1 in 200 plays for a bigger value prize. But how exactly does this work? Have you ever noticed when you play the machine, you're sure you got the aim right, but it seems to move slightly past where you needed it to be? This is actually how the payout system works. When you move forward, the machine will go just enough to go past the string so you miss it by a fraction. This of course means when the scissors close, you won't cut the prize. As soon as the payout number is hit, the machine becomes 100% skill. So this means assuming you have the skill, you can in fact win. But remember, the machine won't necessarily cut the string first time, and it could take a few more turns. The payout for different hooks can also be set. This formation is seen on your screen now. Prize B is at the back, it then goes A, and prize B again. On the front pipe, both these are prize C. So, prize C could be an iPad and set to a high payout, while prize B, A and B again are set to something such as a plush. This of course means just because prize A may be due, prize C at the front may be still a few turns off, so you always want to be looking out for this too. So what are some tips so you can become a winner? The first thing you want to be doing is observing other people play before you insert any of your own money. When they let go of the button, does the machine appear to inch forward slightly? If so, the machine may not be due. When this is happening, it's always worth having a couple of turns, because you never know, it may only be a few goes off turning to 100% skill. However, you never want to go over the top for the prize you're playing for. The second thing you want to do is look for damaged strings. Even when the machine is 100% skill, it can still take many many turns to cut the string, so a damaged string is a lot easier to win. Take a look at this clip here. As you can see, the string was already damaged, and I managed to get it first turn because the machine was 100% skill. These machines are not impossible and they are fun to play. However, always remember when the machine is skipping past your prize, at this current stage it isn't due to give out one. Come back another time and see if the machine is now 100% skill. This will increase your chances and decrease the amount you spend. Good luck and I hope you win some prizes.